What is up, beautiful people? Imagine hiring a brand new employee. Someone who never calls in sick, never needs a vacation, never forgets to follow up. Now imagine only paying that person once. No salary, no benefits, no burnout. That's exactly what I'm building right now. A virtual employee powered by GPT that can handle real outreach, real conversations, and even appointment scheduling, all on autopilot. This video is your behind the scenes look at how I'm doing it. I'm gonna walk you through the full blueprint from the tools I'm using to the problems I've run into to how you can build one yourself for around $5,000. This isn't a someday idea. I'm actually building this right now for my real estate business. So if you've ever wanted to automate repetitive tasks without sacrificing quality, stick around. Let's jump into it. Every business has critical tasks that are necessary, but painfully repetitive. For me, that includes gathering real estate agent contacts, importing them into a CRM, sending out outreach messages, following up, and trying to schedule intro calls. It's not rocket science, it just takes a long time. If you wanna pay someone to do that, you're looking at $3,000 to $5,000 per month if it's a virtual assistant, but if it's an American, you're looking at 12 to 15 grand. That's why I decided to build a GPT powered employee that could handle 85 to 95% of those tasks for the same cost as one month of payroll. It's not about replacing great people, it's about removing the repetitive stuff so your human team can focus on the high level work that actually grows the business. Let me show you exactly what this virtual employee is about to do. First, the GPT bot will scrape real estate agent contact information from public websites. That includes names, phone numbers, and email addresses. Next, it imports those contacts into my CRM Simple Send and automatically tags them so they, I know where they came from. From there, it sends out a friendly outreach text, something simple like, hey, I saw you were an agent in Sacramento, can you help me make a purchase? If the agent doesn't respond, the system automatically sends two more follow-ups over the next couple of days. There's still no response, the bot marks the contact as cold and moves on. But if they do reply, GPT-4 steps in to handle the conversation. It responds naturally using a casual and human tone. After the first message, it introduces me as an investor without sounding pushy or robotic. The goal of every conversation is to schedule a five minute intro call with my acquisitions manager. Once the agent agrees to a call, the bot checks a Google sheet I've created with available times, blackout dates, and holidays. It finds an open slot and books the appointment directly in our calendar, making sure there's a five minute buffer between meetings. If there's no availability, it offers a couple of alternate times for the following week. If everything is booked, it politely lets the agent know that we're currently on hold and we'll follow up soon. And in addition to that, the bot logs in each day as the acquisition managers or my closers to respond to basic inbound messages. Someone asks, who are you? Or what are you looking to buy? GPT replies instantly with clear, friendly answers. And if someone mentions a property that could be a deal, the bot flags that conversation for human review inside of the CRM. So in short, this bot doesn't just look smart, it works smart. So here's the full list of tools the developer told me I either need to have or will need to make the bot work. So first is obviously the CRM Simple Send. This is where all the contacts are live, where the automations are run, and where appointments get scheduled. Link below if you're interested in that. Next, I use Zapier to connect the different tools together and make data back and forth work between platforms. Then I personally am using OpenAI's GPT-4 API to power the actual conversation with leads. That's the brain behind the messaging. I also needed a web scraper built in Python using tools like Beautiful Soup or Playwright. Pull that agent contact data from public websites. Finally, I built a simple Google Sheet to manage our team's schedule that includes working hours, holidays, and any days where we're unable to take calls. Together, this tech stack allows one virtual employee to handle hundreds of outreach conversations every single week. So let me break down the full workflow step by step. Step one, a Python script scrapes contact info from real estate brokerage websites and saves it into a CSV file. Step two, I upload that CSV file into the go high level and tag each contact as a cold outreach lead. And when I say I, I mean the GPT bot. 
then simple send will automatically send the first text message that is just done by the CRM. There's no response. It follows up twice more over the next two business days. And then step four, when an agent replies, Zapier sends that message to the GPT-4 bot. And then step five, GPT responds naturally using a casual tone, introduces me as an investor after the first message. Step six, if the agent agrees to talk, the bot checks our Google Sheet and books a five minute intro call during an available time slot. And then step seven, if no time is available, GPT proposes two other options for next week. If everything is blocked, informs the agent that we're currently on hold. And then step eight, every day the bot logs in as the acquisitions manager for about two hours, answers any basic inbound questions, and it flags any serious leads for human follow-up. This is the exact workflow I'm building right now. And once it's fully tested, it should run Monday through Friday, like clockwork. No, it works more than eight hours a day and I'm excited for it. We're in building it right now and it's gonna be really, really cool. So let's talk about the hard part because this project did not has already not gone perfectly. Here are a few real challenges I've already run into so far. So first, GPT's response is sounding way too robotic than feel human. And I'm right now fixing that. I rewrote the prompt, included some sample replies from the real conversations. A second, the scraper kept getting blocked by CAPTCHA, which is like that little clip and then are you a human? Unfortunately, it's not a human. Solved that by switching to Playwright with the rotating proxies, which worked much better. Third, GPT accidentally booked overlapping appointments, so I added a buffer check in the code to avoid double booking any calls. Fourth, Zapier gets really expensive as volume increase, so I ended up switching to make.com, which is an issue. It's more affordable and better for complex workflows. These problems were frustrating at first, but none of them were deal breakers. Once you fix them, the whole system becomes extremely stable. And we're still developing it, we're still dealing with problems, but it's getting better and better by the day. And so I'm gonna now break down costs. This is like a this is like a breakdown. I have a VA developer in Latin America, so this is way cheaper than it would be for an American but it's awesome. So the uh, scraper development, it cost me about 500 bucks. The CRM integration contact tagging, 400 bucks. SMS campaign setup, 500 bucks. GPT conversation setup, $1,000. Milestone five, the smart scheduling logic, like being able to schedule appointments, 700 bucks. Daily inbox management, 800 bucks. And then final testing and debugging, we're at like 500 to 800 bucks all together. So it's costing like 4,800 to like 5,600 to, and I do this in order for the developer to not screw me. I pay in milestones. So I did all of those step by step by step. I test each part before moving forward and don't release the next payment until that milestone works exactly how I wanted to. This is how you pay a developer in order to develop something. So here's how I'm testing the bot before it goes live. Like first I scrape a small batch of 20 agents, check that the contact info looks clean based on what they built. Then I import those leads into Simple Send and verify that the tags and SMS sequences are working properly. After that, I send test replies to make sure GPT-4 is responding naturally and guiding the conversation. We're still working here. This is like where I am right now toward booking a call. I also run edge cases like weekends, full calendars and holidays to see how the bot handles unusual situations. Finally, I stress test the system with 100 fake contacts to make sure it doesn't crash or slow down. Once it passes all of that, I know it's ready for real leads, right? This system is powerful, but let's be clear, it's not a magic wand, right? Like I'm still developing it. I'm not 100% there. It's not going to close deals for me. It's not going to build deep relationships. It won't replace my top closer, but for 85 to 95% of my repetitive tasks, things like collecting leads, sending messages, booking intro calls, this bot can do that job. You get a consistent, tireless assistant that works around the clock, never misses a beat for the price of a single month of payroll. You get a virtual employee you can use forever. So I'm highly developing this. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on how this goes. I'm, I'm really excited for when it's like finalized and done, 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 but you know, we're still working through stuff and we're gonna get there, right? So anyways, that's how I'm building my GPT powered employee for my business. We covered what the bot actually does, the tech stack behind it, the challenges I'm running into, the cost to expect. I might even cost more, but I'm gonna really work on how it tests before launch and all that good stuff. So this is one of the smartest ways I've found to buy back time in my business. And I'm generally excited to see how it performs in the real world. If you got value from this video, hit the like button so more people can find it. Leave me a comment if you have questions about what I've been dealing with, or like if you have any suggestions on resources, I really want to make this an awesome bot. So if you want me to deep dive on any part, just let me know. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be posting more and more updates on how this bot performs. I'm eventually going to do a test drive and show you guys that with a loom. I can't right now, but eventually it'll be there. And yeah, and you guys should use this video and go build something awesome. I'll see you guys on the next one and we'll see y'all there. Peace out.